Today is Monday, March 15. My name is Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Romans 8. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's Romans 8, verse 35 and 37 through 39. We know these familiar words. They are some of our favorites, often repeated in bad times and in good. And yet we also have to be reminded of these words especially in times of much sorrow, hardship, or pain. We have to remind one another again each time. Not even this, even as bad as it is, can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's been a rough week this past week in the life of our church. A week that brought the death of Martin and Kelly. A week of much sorrow as we grieved and as we continue to grieve. There's also a week that marked a year of pandemic. Much pain, much hardship. And yet as hard as this past week has been and will continue to be with the realities of long grief that it's brought into the lives of those we know and love here in our church, not even death itself can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. It takes a lifetime to live the reality of these words out, though. We not only have to be reminded of the truth of these words, but we have to experience them, too. In the valley of death's dark shadows, we have to ask, Are you still here, God? As we face down a lost paycheck from a layoff, it begs the question, God, are you still with us? And as we live in such a long isolation, we need to know, God, Are you still with me? I need to see and feel your love. Not always right away, but soon enough, whether through the ministry of another, a peace that floods our soul, or a glimpse of something out in nature that assures us, soon enough, God answers, Yes, I love you, and I am with you still, for nothing can separate you from my love for you, in Jesus. Remember, believe, and minister to one another as the hands and feet of Christ in this hope today, the hope that our God and his love remain with us always and through everything, no matter how hard. And as you journey on, go with his blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Mm -hmm.